Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. And today I have a very exciting game to show you uh, featuring Simon Kim Williams, aka the Ginger GM. This game was played in the 2011 French Team Championships. And his opponent for this game is Radoslav Wojtaszek, the Polish Grandmaster. So in this game, uh, Wojtaszek had white and Simon had the black pieces. Wojtaszek opens with d4, we have e6, knight to f3, and f5 from Williams, the Dutch defense. And this is no surprise, as the ginger GM is one of the world's leading experts in this line. g3 from Wojtaszek, knight to f6, bishop g2, bishop to e7, here both sides castle, c4, d6, so black is preparing to play e5 in the future. Queen to c2, and here a5 from William. So this, uh, for the moment, it stops white from expanding on the queen side. Knight to c3, knight to c6, b3, so preparing maybe to fianchetto the other bishop. And here e5 from Williams. So here are the two most commonly played moves for white, uh, d5 and pawn takes e5. D5 uh, has the drawback of giving black the c5 square, which he can later occupy with his knight. So here we have d takes e5 from Wojtaszek. Uh, black recaptures back and rook to d1, developing and attacking black's queen. Queen to e8. So this queen can later swing over to the king's side, and this is quite a common idea in the Dutch. Knight to b5 from Wojtaszek, so going after the c7 pawn. And here Williams plays queen to h5. So this is in fact a novelty. Uh, Black is giving up this pawn on c7 with an attack on the rook. But he is hoping to get uh, quite a bit of counterplay on the king's side. Knight takes c7 from Wojtaszek. f4 from Williams. Knight takes a8 and here we have bishop to c5. So this puts pressure on f2. And black has already given up a whole rook in this position. However, the computer doesn't believe in this sacrifice. It, it believes that white is better in this position. But to the human eye, this looks very dangerous because all of black's move, uh, moves seem quite natural. He's going to play bishop f5, knight is coming to g4, e4 is coming. This looks quite dangerous for white. The computer believes that here g takes f4 is the best move uh, because after a move like bishop f5 here black never wants to play a pawn takes because that would close up the f file for his rook uh, here after bishop f5 white plays e4 this gives up the pawn but uh, the idea is that you will bring your queen over to defend uh, your king bishop takes queen to e2 rook takes a8 Bishop b2, and here uh, white seems to have found his footing. But g takes f4 isn't an easy move for a human to find. And here Wojtaszek plays rook to d5. Uh, he's trying to remove this annoying bishop. The idea is that if knight takes, then pawn takes. This opens up an attack on a bishop. Also, this knight is under fire, so this is good for white. But here, uh, Simon plays knight to b4, so this attacks the rook and the queen. And uh, here, Wojtaszek plays rook takes e5. Well, if he decides to move his queen, for example, queen b2, then this is going to be great for black. After knight takes rook, pawn takes rook. Here, knight to g4, and uh, most like e4 are coming. Well, this is a very difficult position for white to play. So after knight b4, we have rook takes e5 from Wojtaszek. So knight takes c2, rook takes uh, h5, so the queens are off the board. But here, uh, black's initiative is still very strong. After knight takes h5, rook to b1. Here, f takes g3, uh, h takes g3, and Simon takes advantage of the pin. He plays knight takes g3, so knight takes e2 is threatened. Here a rook to b2 from Wojtaszek uh, attacking this knight, but simply bishop to f4 from Williams. And it was in this position that Wojtaszek resigned the game. So this knight is under attack and black is simply threatening to capture on an e2 and this would win the bishop. 
So very nice game from uh, the Ginger GM. And the novelty of queen to h5 with the idea of giving up the rook on a8. Uh, although it's not completely sound, but it definitely paid off in this game. And I'm sure uh, Wojtaszek will be quite... Uh, will be much better prepared next time he faces the Dutch defense. So I hope you enjoyed this game and if you do, please uh, subscribe for more future content. I'll be leaving a link uh, to Ginger GM's channel uh, in the description, so if you're interested, do check that out. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.